to make a measurement, make sure your photodiode is turned on, have the output of the photodiode connected to the input of a multimeter that's on the 10 volt range. You can adjust the range if needed with these arrows. Do your alignment so that only one color is entering the slit in the front and that color completely blankets the black squares inside and then roll that tube closed so that no stray light can strike in and then press the zero measurement that discharges the capacitor and when you release that the capacitor will start to charge and the charge will slowly build up and might take up to three minutes to stabilize. You should note the charge, or excuse me, you should note the voltage every 30 seconds until it is stabilized and then record that voltage for that wavelength. You are then ready to adjust to a different color. When you measure the green, you'll want to use a green filter which sticks on the front via magnets. When you measure the orange, you'll want to use an orange filter, which sticks on the front, also via magnet. Those low energy wavelengths, we want to filter out any spurious light. Once you have all five wavelengths measured, pick one of them and use a neutral density filter. Now this filter has five different settings with different degrees of opacity and you'll have a line on there. If I was doing orange, I would want both the orange and the neutral density filter. And then adjust the neutral density filter so that you make five different measurements at different optical intensities. When you're all done with all of those measurements, you can go ahead and turn off the photo diode. And again, always make sure that this photodiode stays over its platform and is supported.